So, trying something a bit different this time. So, usually, you know, you're seeing me making knives and I occasionally do other things, but I kind of want to do maybe a little thing, maybe a small, like, a uh, small little series on the side where I make different, like, you know, alternative slash punk type jewelry, accessories, stuff like that. I've been kind of doing this stuff for a while, at least to a small degree, but we kind of want to share it a little bit. So, I said, you know, why not make a few videos of it, see how it goes. I don't know. I might just do three videos on the side, and eh, that's it. But, you know, we'll see what happens when we get there. But starters for this bracelet design, as you saw in the thing, our starter is basically a rusted bike chain. This is actually off of a bike that's been in my shop since I moved here. One of those junk I was just kind of left behind. I've been scavenging it for parts for a long time, but just a little rusted bike chain. I end up cutting myself a, a chunk. I use an iron grinder, but I know there's ways to like, remove these pins. I just don't have the tools to do so. Iron grinder is what I had, so that's what I used. So I have this little chunk here cut out. I kind of measured to where it goes around my wrist, along with all the other stuff. <clears throat> but, you know, I have to go in there. As you'll notice, the lighting's kind of terrible in my living room at the moment, I guess. Uh, the rust is not on it. Why does it soak this in vinegar for like 48 hours, I think? Might be a bit excessive. I don't know. Just regular white vinegar. Let it sit there. And once it's done, I took a wire brush and just cleaned off everything. This is the end result. So, basically, what you're going to do is attach that to your wrist. And to do that, I have these rings. Got these at a hardware store, which I kind of want to be a theme of this, but honestly, a lot of stuff isn't hardware store stuff. Most of just like DIY sewing and leather working stuff, but that's not a point. Not the point. Blech. Can't speak this evening. But these were welded rings. I just took a hacksaw, cut them, bent them open. And then I got this, just like one of those like big uh, clip things you see. Basically, this is a, like a giant necklace clip. And what I'm gonna do is basically loop this into the spaces between the links and have this sitting in one of these. And uh, yes, my workspace is a mess. Will that change? Maybe at some point, but not today. Let's take a pair of pliers. So a pair of needle nose here. Sometimes two pair is necessary. You want to make sure that the hole is closed, so that way the ring does not pop out. Not too far. Go. Now this, not coming off. Do the same to the other side. Pinch closed. This one I'm not as worried about since it doesn't actually have to hold the piece, just have to clip onto it. But you know, still want it to be as close as possible. It actually worked pretty well when I close it a little more. There we go. Now you go put it on your wrist. Just loop it around. And if I, my thumb is not in the way. Here, let me. There. Pretty simple, honestly. It actually took me longer to figure out how I want to do this. And you don't just have to use one of these. Like, honestly, originally I was thinking about using one of these things. That was a little bigger than I wanted, but if you can find smaller ones, that works. Getting one of these little clips, that'd work too. Well, honestly, just anything to hold the two pieces together. Maybe if you don't like using one of these things. You know, just whatever you got lying around or can get your hands on. That's kind of what the inspiration for this little uh, side project is. So, hope you enjoyed.